What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here. We're about to graph this dope g of x function that looks crazy using transformations from our f of x function, which doesn't, which doesn't even have an equation, but it does look like we have a graph here with one, two, three, four critical points in different colors. All right, we're going to use those. But first, let's list out our transformations. We have a negative out front. That means that it is a vertical reflection or reflection over my x axis. Then I have this one half. It's outside the function, so it's a vertical compression by one half. Now we move on the inside of my function. If it's on the inside, it's horizontal. I got to flip it. My factor is then two because that's the reciprocal of one half. So that's going to be a horizontal stretch by two. Then I have this inside here, x plus one. That means I'm going to go to the left, to the left. Yes, to the left, to the left, Beyonce. I hope I got that right. I've said Rihanna before in accent. Confirm, it's Beyonce. I'm sticking with it. All right, left one, left one. And then that one right there, that's a minus two. And we got to go down two. Whew. That is a lot. All right, we're going to take it one point at a time. Starting with this pink color right here for that point right there. So here's what we got to do. I got to start at what looks like negative three, positive one. So negative three, positive one. This is where I'm at. I'm going to reflect over the x-axis. That puts me right down here. Then I got to do a vertical compression by one half, which puts me here. Then I got to do a horizontal stretch by two. Well, currently my x value is negative three. So then it's going to become negative six. Ah, ah. And then left one, boom, and then down two. So I'm at right about here. This, I'm in line with that right there, right at negative two and a half. Okay. So there's my first point. Next up, green, green, my favorite color. Okay. So we're going to start up here, which means I'm at, uh, let's see here, negative two, no, neg yeah, negative two, up at positive six. Whoop. Okay, we're right up here. Okay, so for this one, reflection over the x-axis, I'm all the way down at negative six. Whee! Then I got to do a vertical compression by one half. So negative six divided by two is negative three. So I'm over here at negative three. All right, next up, we got to do a horizontal stretch by two, which puts me at, well, from negative two, I'm going to be at negative four then if I multiply that by two. There we go. And then left one, boom, and then down two. So down one, two, puts me at that negative five right there. There we are right there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So this is a pretty big, like, you know, distance right here. Looks like a little bit less right here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Love it. Fantastic. Wonderful. Now it's time to switch to orange. All right, this bad boy right here. So I'm over at positive two, positive three. So positive two, positive three. Boom, there's our, there's my start point. All right, so I'm gonna reflect over the x-axis. I'm gonna be at negative three. Whee, boom. Then I'm gonna do a vertical compression by one half. Oh, that's awful, but that's okay. We're gonna be at 1.5. Whoop, boom. Three divided by two, it's 1.5. Then I gotta do a horizontal stretch by two. So I'm currently at positive two, multiply that by two, I'm gonna be at positive four. That'll put me right here. And then I'm gonna go left one, left one, and then down two. So one, two, boom, I'm at this spot right here, which is again at the halfway point, negative 3.5. All right, now I gotta do my last one here, which is gonna be in yellow. So I'm starting at, let's see here, three comma three. So one, two, three up one two three there's my start all right so we're probably figuring out this is gonna be like right next to that other one but let's see exactly where it is i reflect first so we're gonna go down at negative three Whee, boom then i'm gonna go vertical compression by one half so i'm at that 1.5 spot then i'm gonna do a horizontal stretch by two so i'm all the way over at six and then i'm gonna go left one boom and then down two so one two in line with that orange one as we expected. Let's connect the dots here and see what this looks like. So we got this guy to here, that goes to there, and then horizontal. Let's see if this makes sense. It doesn't look too horizontal, it looks a little slope. There we go, that's a little better. Let's see if this makes sense here. So I reflected it, it's upside down, right? I compressed it vertically, smushed it. Yep, that makes sense. I did a horizontal stretch. It is a little bit longer this way, right? And then we shifted it to the left and then down. Okay, so that's what we ended up doing with those. It's a little harder to see those ones. It's all been kind of mutilated here, but they did happen, and that is 
pretty awesome. Do that visual check with this to make sure these things all look about right. I know it's hard to say, like, does it look right? I don't know, bro. I just learned this for the first time. But hopefully you can get that reflection, stretch, compression. Those ones are, are decent to see. All right. See you guys later.